Slowy. Today's video is going to be a drugstore prom makeup tutorial. I just recently uploaded a prom makeup tutorial using the Naked 3 palette and I really wanted to do something for you guys who don't really have access to high-end products or who just prefer drugstore products. The world is your oyster. I am just here to show you guys gorgeous makeup looks using the products that you might have at your fingertips. Today we're going to be using one of my new favorite things in the entire freaking universe, which is the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher 8 Pan Palette, and it's obviously purple, so this is going to be a purple look. Um, you could obviously use this technique for any color that you want. I think prom is a great time to wear purple if you're a little bit scared of color. I think it's a really, really easy, simple color to wear. So I'm going to stop blabbering, and I'm just going to jump into the tutorial, and if you want to know how to get this look, then stay tuned. Alrighty, so getting started, the first thing you're going to want to do is prime your face. Now, I'm waiting to do foundation until after my eye makeup is complete, but I am going to go ahead and prime my face just so it has a little bit of time to sit on the skin before we put on foundation. The one I'm using today is Heart Candy Sheer Envy Primer. This is their ultra light formula, and it's absolutely amazing, but you kind of have to shake it up a little bit or else it comes out like really watery and weird. I don't fully understand it, but... I'm just going to put this on my face. Moving into the eyes, the first thing I'm going to do is conceal my upper lids with the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. This is their eraser for dark circles. It's just in the brightener shade, and it's really going to help to cancel out any darkness you have on the lid. And then I'm going to follow up with an actual eyeshadow primer because eyeshadow primers are made to keep your eyeshadows from creasing, so it's really important to use on a night like prom. This one is from Urban Decay just because it's what I have, but the Milani um, eyeshadow primer is just as good. I just don't have that right now. so. I'm just going to do that really quickly. Totally optional, but you can also use a purple eyeshadow base. This one is from MAC, but there's also one from Maybelline that, again, is just as good. Um, I just happen to have this one. So I'm going to take this on my finger, and this is going to start at the outer corners of my eyes, and I'm just going to kind of work it in. All right, so today's eyeshadows are from the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Eyeshadow... I don't know, what do you call this, an octet? An eight pan palette, is that correct? The first shade I'll be using right over here is this kind of reddened, like mid-tone purple, and I'm gonna be taking it on a shader brush, and this is going to start on the outer part of my lid, and I'm just going to work my way into the inner third with this. Taking a teensy tiny little pencil brush and the next shade down, which is kind of a dark black with a bit of red pigment throughout, this is going to go into the outer V of my eyes and I'm again just using a very small pencil brush for this. Keep using that black until you have your desired intensity and then be ready to blend. Now, using a clean blending brush, I'm just going to start blending that black into the rest of the lid. <laughs> Guys, I am drinking green juice out of one of my husband's beer glasses because this is class. All right, same brush, I'm just going to use a bit of that shade that we used on the lid, and I'm just going to use this to blend into the crease. Not too much because this is kind of shimmery and it can get a little bit muddy and lost in translation, but a little bit will definitely help to bring everything together. Now using a tiny bit of that black on the crease brush, I'm just going to bring a little bit of this into the crease and touch up the black in the outer corner. So now you just want to blend with a clean brush, mind that outer corner so that it doesn't lose quite too much intensity and make sure that you don't get the black too muddy, but it is really important to blend in a look like this so that you don't look like you have black eye. I'm gonna take a bit of this brow bone shade. It's a light kind of pink and white and I'm just going to put this onto the inner corners of the eyes. And then taking a bit of this very light, almost metallic lilac shade, I'm just putting a bit on my finger, and I'm going to dot this onto the ball of the eye 
to really bring some life and some definition back into that eye look. Now using a bit of your favorite eye makeup remover and a Q-tip here, you're basically going to want to use this to really clean up the edges of this look and create a sharp outer V. Into eyeliner today I'll be using my favorite gel eyeliner which is the Essence Midnight in Paris gel eyeliner. It's the blackest black eyeliner in the history of man. I'm just going to take this on an angled eyeliner brush and I'm going to start to line my upper lash line with it. Then using a bit of the sparkly black in this palette, I am going to use this to really set that eyeliner off. And this is going to make it last all night and also kind of blend it into the rest of the look a bit better. For right now, it's time to move on to the rest of the face. So first off, I'm just going to take my favorite under eye concealer, again that Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener, and I'm going to use this right under the eyes. Since I am fake tanned right now and my concealer does not match the foundation I will be using, I will be doing concealer first. This is the Hard Candy Glam Flash Heavy Duty Concealer in the color Light. And again, it's going to be way too pale for me, but it'll obviously color match once my foundation is on. And this will be going on areas like my cheeks where I have hyperpigmentation, and also just areas where I have redness like around my nose and on my forehead. Now for foundation, I will be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi. It is one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and I have it in the color W4, which is kind of my fake tan shade, and I love this because it's just a great luminous foundation. Forgive my hands. I just fake tan, so they're a little bit crazy. I'm also bringing a bit of foundation over the lips because I just want to nude everything out and then bring color back in. Then taking a pale concealer, this one is from NYX and it is their HD Photogenic Concealer in the color Fair. I'm going to use this to kind of draw that upside down triangle underneath my eyes and I'm also going to take just a bit of this down my nose. This will really help to highlight and brighten this area. Once that is totally blended, make sure to go ahead and set that off with a bit of powder, but do not powder the rest of your face. I also recommend using a like really light, almost translucent powder for this under eye area to ensure that it matches really well and that it really keeps that brightening effect. For the lower lash line, I'll be starting with this shade and just kind of smudging that onto the lower lash line, stopping about a third of the way in, and then I will also be taking a tiny bit of the crease shade on the very outer corner. Also using just a bit of that pink and white, I'm going to use this on the very inner corners of the eyes. For a brow bone highlight, I am just using a bit of face powder here, simply because it's very neutral. Obviously it has no shimmer whatsoever, and it's just going to kind of balance out the look without being too much. Even if you do not normally fill in your eyebrows, a day like prom is really important to define them and make them just pop. I'll be using my Whitening Lightning Brow Bar to go kit, however there is currently a Milani kit out that is very very similar to this in color, um, and it is just their brow kit if you would rather use that. I just used the lighter shade to fill in the inner parts of my brows, and now I'm using the darker color to really define the outer portion. Now that my foundation has had time to sit on the face, I'm going to go ahead and powder everything off. I'm using this uh, Physician's Formula, I was about to call it Rimmel London, but it is Physician's Formula, their baby powder, and I've never actually tried it before. I'm only using it because I don't have a powder dark enough right now. For 
the rest of my face, I'm going to start with bronzer. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And I'm just going to use this to really not contour, but bronze up my face and give it a little bit more color. Because if you can't already tell, it doesn't quite match the rest of my tan because, I don't know, I got a little bit overboard last night. Let's just leave it at that. Also using a bit of this on a smaller brush to really contour my nose and make it look sharper. This is a little bit much to do in like a day-to-day -day kind of makeup look. Um, however, it really photographs so beautifully and as long as you blend it right, it's not too terribly noticeable. And then I'm going to be using my contour powder on just a little contour brush and prom again is a great time to really contour and if you don't know how to contour you're going to want to follow a really basic pattern. Start at the top of your ear, follow this line down and that's where you need to start. And if you see the area that hollows in when you make that fish face, that's what you're going to want to follow too. However, I would really recommend stopping the bronzer once you hit about here. So right where your eyebrow arches, stop that contour and then you can just blend the rest of the way in a minute. So now with the rest of the bronzer kind of dusted off of that brush, I'm just going to blend, blend, blend away. Also just going to take a bit of this up into my hairline because I have quite a broad forehead as well as a teensy tiny bit right under the chin. For blush, I'll be using this really gorgeous pink blush from the e.l.f. Um, Contouring Blush and Bronzer Duo in St. Lucia. And this is a perfect dupe of NARS Orgasm, except it's actually not as like chunky or glittery. So I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. Those of you that watch me regularly are going to be shocked that I'm not using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Light Skipade for this, but it is a mostly drugstore. I'm trying to keep as many drugstore uh, products as possible. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Bronzer SPF 15. This is in the color in the cab or Reserve Your Cabana, um, and it's not a bronzer. It's actually a highlight. I don't understand why they call it a bronzer, but I'm just going to take a bit of this on a stippling brush. Starting this at the top of my cheekbones, I'm going to work it into an upward C motion and then I'm going to bring the rest of the product down onto the cheekbones. Also taking a touch of that right down here on the center, like the bridge of my nose, right there on that cupid's bow. Then I'll be taking a bit on my finger just to highlight right under the brow. Before I do mascara and eyelashes, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. I just find that this works a lot better like pre-eyelashes because otherwise I feel like they tend to stick to your face and it just doesn't work. Use your favorite black eyeliner pencil now and just tight line your upper lash line. Also get a tiny bit on that lower lash line as well to really smoke that out. Don't bring it too far into the inner corner though. Now give your eyelashes a bit of curl and apply a few coats of your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using a volumizing mascara today just because I feel like it helps my falsies blend better with my real C's. So finishing off the look with my lips, I am first taking the NYX Round Lipstick. This is in the color Fig, and it's just a really gorgeous bright pink. I'll be topping that off with my favorite, the NYX Butter Glosses, and this is in the color Maple Blondie. Okay guys, so that is it for this prom drugstore makeup tutorial and I really hope you all enjoyed and that you found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. And until my next video, I love you girls so much and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!